Hello guys, welcome to another interesting problem in the series of coding. This time it's called first bad version. So you are a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product. Unfortunately, the latest version of your product fails the quality check. And since each version is developed based on the previous version, all the versions after a bad version are also bad. So basically they are given an array of versions and we have n versions and we want to find the first bad version. So we'll take the example which they have given. So they have given us the example where we have versions from 1 to 5. So our n is equal to 5 and 4 is our first bad version in that example. So according to that example, 4 and 5 are the bad versions and the initial 3 versions are good. So let's see what the brute force approach for finding the first bad version would be. So I'll start checking from the leftmost. So if 1 is a bad version or not, I will check. So 1 is a good version, so I'll move on to my next element and 2 is again a good version, I'll move on to my next element because I need to find the first bad version. 3 is again a good version, I'll move on to my next element and now 4 will be a bad version so I can return 4. But see in the worst case what can happen is the last element can be a bad version and in that case the time complexity will just become O of n. So this is a linear search algorithm and O of n is a bad time complexity when you have very large values of n so it's bad relatively we can have a smaller time complexity than this and that can be achieved by using a binary search algorithm so binary search algorithm will give us a time complexity of o of log n so let's use a binary search algorithm so let's see how we can do that so let me declare two variables that i will call as left and right so i'm going to write l and r for short so these are going to be my left and right elements where the first element will be left and the rightmost element will be right. And I'm going to declare a mid variable that is going to equal to left plus right element by 2. So it will just be the middle element of these two. So in this case, it's going to be 1 plus 5 by 2. So 6 by 2 is 3. So mid will become 3. Now I'm going to check if my middle version is good or bad. So in case here, let's consider this example so here my middle version is a good version that means I definitely know that my left part of the array is not going to contain a bad version so all the versions before this are also going to be good so in this case without wasting any further time I can move my left to be mid plus one okay so this is what I can do and I can move my mid also now because my left has changed so my mid will also become left plus right by 2 which is 4 plus 5 by 2 so it will become 9 by 2 so mid will also become 4 now I can check if my mid is a bad version but my mid minus 1 is a good version so that means I have found the first bad version so I can return 4 so this is what I can do so this is what I can achieve using a binary search algorithm so let's take just one another example so in case 2 was the first bad version okay in that case how would have our binary search algorithm worked so let's take that example also so 1 would have been the leftmost element again because it's the starting of the array and 5 would have been the rightmost element and middle element would have been again same 1 plus 5 by 2 that will be 6 by 2 that will be 3 okay now in this case I will again uh, check if my middle element is a bad version or good version. So my middle element is a bad version. That means all the versions after it are definitely bad. So I need not check because my first bad version will be achieved in the left part of the array. So somewhere here. So let's uh, shift the right element in this case. So I will shift my right to be mid minus one. So now I've shifted my right element here and I will check if my middle version is a bad version but to the left of my middle version is a good version so this case is not a valid right now that means my middle element is also bad version left of middle element is also bad version that means I have a bad version somewhere uh, here to the left of this side so let's check again so in this case what will happen is I can check left plus right by 2 again and that will be my mid so left is 1 right is 2 1 plus 2 by 2 becomes 3 by 2 that is 1 so my mid will again be initialized to 1 okay now let's move forward and I will check my mid element if it is a good version or a bad version so I know my mid element is a good version so since this is a good version I know that 
my bad version should somewhere lie to the right of it so i should again initialize my left to be mid plus 1 so my left will again move and left will become this now i will again initialize my mid to be left plus right by 2 so left is also 2 right is also 2 so 2 plus 2 by 2 will again become 2 so my mid will again get initialized this element and i will again check if my middle element is a bad version but the left to it is a good version so i will find the first bad version here and i can return this so this should work let's start coding it to understand it much better so i'll have to declare int left that will be my first element and i'll have to declare int right that will be my last element that will be n so these are very large values i have given in the question that n can range up to 2 power 31 minus 1 so i'll have to declare long int otherwise it will give me error so to not to have an error i will have to declare them as long int and i can move forward and declare long int mid also so these will be my declarations now i'll start iterating over the binary search so while left is less than equal to right in that case the binary search algorithm should be followed and my mid will be left plus right by 2 mid will be the middle element of left plus right so moving forward so my first check will be is bad version of mid okay so if this is true then i know that my middle element is a bad version so if it is a bad version that means to the left of it only i will find the first bad version so i will have to shift my right element to middle minus 1 okay else i will have to shift my left element to middle plus 1 and i will also check here if is bad version of mid true and in the case when is bad version of mid minus 1 not true that means the left element is a good version but the mid element is a bad version so in that case i will have to return mid so this should work and i will have to give some return statement in there and also so i'll just simply give return one so let's check and see if it's working so it's working let's submit and see if all the test cases are passing so yes it's accepted solution thank you